Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Ru. And I thought I would answer the questions in a mukbang type of style. I've watched mukbang bangs, <laughs> bangs, mukbangs um, for ages now, and I know they're very popular. And yeah, so I thought I'd just do my own one, and I ask questions on my community page, which is where I mainly post um, YouTube stuff. And on a table. Well, could should probably show you the table. I think that's what people do. But anyway, I got a banana milkshake. So, because I'm already a big girl and I do not need the calories in me right now, I didn't buy that much. But what I did buy is some cheese bites because I've never tried them before. Um, a, chick a mayo chicken uh, burger because I kind of like it. And to make your book bang more, you know, fun, I guess. And then, uh, these new nine spicy chicken nuggets. I have never tried them. I kind of want to. So I thought, you know, this is a perfect opportunity to try. And if I don't like them, then, yeah. Um, oh, I'm missing a thing. So I'm missing the spicy sauce that has to go with the chicken nuggets. The bag had the um, the sauce in, so I've got spicy tomato dip that comes with this um, chicken nuggets, and I've got some switch tomato dip, but I've also got my barbecue sauce. So yeah, let's get into it, shall we? Last time I checked, I had about 16 comments, so 16, 17 comments, so let's check what I have today. I have 48 comments. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what is your favourite Escape the Night episode from each season? Um, that's quite a difficult question. I kind of... The, th the thing is, I can't even remember <laughs> every season. Oh, that's spicy. Let me, let me try this. It just tastes like regular chicken nuggets. The spicy dip makes it, but you know. Anyway. I'm going to be completely honest here and say... I don't remember, my memory is like a goldfish, apparently that's a myth anyway, um, I can't remember that much, but so far in this season, oh I remember last season's actually, kind of, um, I think last season I really liked the clown house, the fun house, this season so far I've liked the Hmm, the wedding one. Uh, can't remember what else I like. So for season one, I actually liked the invitation because if you hear dog panting, by the way, I'm looking after my sister's dog. So it's okay. Um, my first, the first season, I liked the invitation because it was the open. It was the opening of um, Escape the Night. The gingerbread house in season two. That was very fun. What is your favourite Escape the Night season? And if Joey makes an Escape the Night season five, what era would you want it to take place? So my favourite Escape the Night season is definitely season three. I don't know why I think it's because I liked half the YouTubers. I knew half the YouTubers and I watched half the YouTubers. Either. Um... I don't really know what era I want it to be in. Hmm. Um, it'd be fun it to, it, for it to be in this era. This, like, this year or last year or, you know, 2000s. 2000s would be quite cool, actually. Um, so I'd, I'd say that. Who do you want to live in Escape the Night? Who do you want to live in Escape the Night? Obviously, bro. <laughs> um... are really hard to film. Um, Colleen, but I think she dies. Um, but I would like two girls. I would like Ro and Colleen to win. What are your thoughts on Justine's outburst after the season one, episode two death challenge? My thoughts is drama. Um, we all need drama in Escape the Night, so she was probably creating drama. Um, she kind of had a point I guess but I think every season there's always a drama queen so what have you thought about 
season four so far and what is the saddest death to you okay so actually really cool um i like the different eras i like how everything was like not the same and there's different exhibitions um kind of like storyline kind of i am happy that colleen is back of course because she's my favorite wimp even though i think she's gonna die next episode um i think tana and um tana and gabby dying was actually a really good twist even though i think it was a little bit of unfair do all the challenges in like a time limit that it was very hard to complete but i think it was part of the storyline um saddest death is actually alex as much as i hated alex it was one of the saddest deaths um just because it's when he i think it was the way he got killed was quite sad oh i'm trying to cheese cheese ball for the first time i think it's the way he was killed he was killed was probably the saddest part who are you most sad to see die and happy to see die in each season my boyfriend is there typing um most sad um ro matt although matt survived it afterwards but um ro matt colleen justine Liza uh, is who I was sad about. Happy about Alex. D Storm. D Storm, I was really happy about. Who is your dream All Stars cast? Do I have? Do they have to come back? Do they have to already be in the in the skate tonight? Because If they don't have to be in Escape the Night, or have been in Escape the Night, Zoella, um, just because she's a big YouTuber and one of the originals. Um, I think Nikki and Gabby, they could act together. Um, I think one of them might portray the other one, which I think will be quite interesting. Just because I can see them um, doing that. So I think people from Smosh would be great. Um, and I mean, the original Smosh. Or was popular original, originate. Or was popular years ago. That would be quite cool. Mmm. Mm-hmm. 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 be old YouTube. And the, uh, the stars will be old YouTubers who were very, very popular back then. Oh my god. That would be a cool season. Which guest outfit was your favourite for me season? <laughs> guest outfit was your favourite for me season? So season one I liked Sierra's. Season two I liked... Season two I liked uh, Gabby's, but it is quite big. <laughs> so if you need to run to places, it probably would be difficult. Season 3, I liked Colleen's. And season 4, I liked Rose. Do you think Colleen will die in the next episode or will it grow? I personally think it's going to be Colleen. But we'll see. It might be Rose. Because I think Rose survives tonight. And I want to do a whole theory on it. But I did it last year. And then the next episode, Rose died. So <laughs> I'm not very good at theories. Who was your favourite YouTuber in the series? And what role do you think that would suit you? In all of the series, I would say the most person who I watch is probably Carly. <laughs> so I think she would be my she is my favourite YouTuber. Um what role do you think that would suit you? I think Sierra is because um I will most likely get betrayed by someone. What was the funniest step? Um probably gazelles just because of how she died and how she reacted to death that was pretty funny um what grade are you in well i am actually graduated 
<laughs> I'm unemployed. <laughs> Living that unemployed life. But yeah, I graduated in 2018. I got a job at a theme park, hotel, for a little bit, but then my contract ended, so they were like, bye. Um, and so many problems with that company anyway. Um, so now I'm unemployed. Been unemployed for nine months. Um, been trying to get jobs, been to many interviews, but all has failed. Um, I went to an interview last week to do an apprenticeship. My CV is the best, you know, um, they really like it. They are so impressed. They want to interview the next day. They want to interview now. Can you go? And I was like, yeah, sure, I can go. Um, because I got so hyped up about it. Got into the interview and um, five minutes in, not even five minutes, less than five minutes, and five questions asked. Um, I was told to my face that I wasn't the right fit. So annoyed. I, I literally cried. Uh, I cried for a long last time that day. I was crying in public and everything because they said so much about my CV and then they were said no. Anyway, as a really random fact that I just told you that wasn't even part of the question. But yes, I graduated. I'm unemployed. Just trying to find a job watch lies on demand and how we and are you excited for season two of it love you i love you too. i've never watched lies on demand um i don't know why i've just never watched it probably because of premium um but you know i see what it's like and i could watch it and if there's a season two go on her if it's that successful that she's got season two that's really good um Is there a possible season five of Escape Night? There is, and Joey confirmed it quite a couple of times now. Um, he confirmed it in a comment, saying, like, if you look closely at this picture, you can see the season five monster. And then he confirmed it in a fan interview, so yes, season five is gonna happen. Um, how old are you? I am 22 years old. Mm. Some people probably be like, yeah, you look 22 other people and by other people I mean a lot of people think I'm 12 so yeah which I thought was okay and as I get I, I get ID'd for a lot of things but you know what I'm like looking young that's good that's fine not when it comes to interviews people in interviews think you look if you look too young you look too young professional so I don't know what happened but yeah um, who do you think has been the most helpful guest this this season? Pick three and do be best of us. Number one best, Tana. Um, I must say, Ro hasn't done that much. I love Ro and Ro will want to survive, but she hasn't done that much and she hasn't even gone to like a death challenge. Just very lucky this season. Um, to get engaged twice, but... <laughs> She was just lucky to get engaged twice, but yeah. Um, so I'll say Ro is the worst at the moment. Just because I don't see her helping that much. Alex, I guess, was the best. Um, and Brett. Brett's really good. Colleen, kind of, but I'll say she's not really helping that much either. Um, and Joey. Do you have a pet? No, I don't, but I'm looking at one. How do you think YouTubers will get out of the museum? I think it's going to be a little plot twist at the end. Or... Um, the society against evil is going to come when everyone's dead. <laughs> There's only two survivors. And they're going to be like, hiya! And then they're going to let them out. Who do you ship more? Matt Pat and Ro, Bretman and Ro, Matt Pat and Nikita, Bretman and Nikita. Bretman and Nikita, because they're going to They are a pretty good pair. Who do you think deserve to die first in season 4? Diesel. <laughs> you know, I haven't even eaten my burger yet, and I'm feeling full now, and I'm like, I'm going to die. <laughs> what are your thoughts on season episode 5? Episode 5 was actually a really good one. Um, I really liked Colleen being the king at the end. 
I really think Ro was being innocent and Joe had no right to shout at her. Um, yeah, I would say that. Do you think the grass theory is correct? It was, but then it wasn't, and Joe confirmed it wasn't, so I guess it wasn't. <laughs> um, like the seasons in order, like best to worst, best to worst, probably season two worst, um, season one, season three, no, season four, season three. Got you into Escape Tonight. Was it a friend or did you just want to find out? I used to watch Joey's videos quite often. Um, and when season one came out, I was a really big fan of Joey. I think it was when it was like still good YouTube and still the old YouTube when it came out. And so I was watching Joey a lot with like the UK squad. Um, and then it came out and I thought, you know what, it looks quite good. So I watched it from season one. And then what got me into reaction to Escape Night it's probably just starting my YouTube channel again, not knowing what to do, and I know Escape Night was gone, so I just reacted to it for fun and turned into this, so. Mm. Um. Do you, do you think all dead guests who have died in the challenge this season might have a chance to come back? Yes. I think so. I don't know why, but I think so. For honest opinion on the series, do you think it's rigged extra? I think it's rigged for Joey. I think, you know, for Joey purposes, it's definitely rigged. But, especially when the voting thing happened, that's when it was like a bit unfair. And I think it'd be quite cool to see Joey die in one episode. People react and stuff. Um, but obviously, I don't like how it's rigged, but, you know, to get the storyline going and to keep Joey going they have to rig it so it kind of makes sense but it's kind of annoying do you have a boyfriend i do have a boyfriend and we've been together for a year and I don't know how many months a year and probably seven months something like that i get getting to serious to the point where i'm moving in with him so yeah <laughs> we're getting a shared house and we're gonna move in so yeah we eat some by a mine at all whatever it is like colleen or eaten by vampires Recording. And that's all the questions. I do believe that's all the questions. If I didn't answer them, that's probably because it's the same questions that I've just answered. But yeah, that was my mukbang. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to exercise now because this is a lot of calories. And I haven't finished half of my stuff. I think I underestimate myself. But I do really badly need to exercise now. Even though it's raining, I need to get these calories off me because it is not healthy and I'm already a big lady so yeah thank you for watching this video and if you did like it like comment subscribe and I'll see you all again soon and I'll see you all again soon bye